Out the Dre's a strange wife. Was trying to get $2 million in spousal support requests from the court hearings. But was denied yesterday. This was a messy divorce. This estranged wife, Nicole Young, forcing Dr. Dre to fire back at her gruddy spousal support requests. So you now I know you guys say to yourself, well... Two million dollars a month. What does a person need two million dollars for? Well, let's go ahead and see what the proposal was. So, Dr. Dre's ex wife on why she wants two million dollars a month for temporary spousal support. TMZ broke the story. Nicole Young wants 1.9 million. $36,399 to cover her expenses. Here's the breakdown. Laundry and cleaning, $10,000 a month. Clothes, $135,000 a month. Education, tuitions, and living expenses, $60,000 a month. Uh, Entertainment, $900,000 a month. Uh, charitable contributions, one hundred and twenty-five thousand a month. Mortgages, one hundred and hundred thousand dollars a month. Television, cell phones, and emails, twenty thousand dollars a month. Now listen, man. I'm not a rich motherfucker, obviously, man, and I don't got multi millions of dollars. But here's my here's my question, man, and. I don't know. I'm not in that rich bracket, and I'm sure a lot of my listeners and people who listen to this channel, I don't think are multi-millionaires like this, but even if I was, let's just say hypothetically speaking, a multi-millionaire, who in the fuck spends $20,000 a month on a cell phone bill? And emails and a telephone like okay listen you live a high-class life I get it and I guess living with your husband for 15 years of a marriage and now you're seeking spousal support which were you were denied of makes me kind of think to myself that why can't people have a lot of money and just live a simple life? You ever, you know, you ever sit back and you wonder like, why do these rich people go broke? Well, let me tell you something. A million dollars to $5 million is eventually not going to be a lot of money because people are blowing that off. Believe it or not, people like it's nothing. I know me and you would be like, what? What? How can you guys blow off five million? That's why you see some of these athletes, they blow off their money. Well, this is it. They live a high profile lifestyle. If you're paying this much money, for entertainment expenses, 900,000 a month, mortgages, a hundred thousand dollars a month, your laundry and cleaners, ten thousand dollars a month. I don't know. Because my rent <laughs> is not even not even anywhere close to what this woman is asking for. But she's spending the laundry and the cleaning services $10,000 a month. Her kids are all, all grown, by the way. So I don't think her kids would need any of this money. And not just that. Dr. Dre is taking care of them. Obviously, he is the breadwinner in this case. But see... I don't want men to get it to get it confused with well Dr. Dre was able to win this case from his estranged wife. I don't want you guys to think that you can also win a case too when it comes down to marriages because Dr. Dre was able to do that and now the courts are changing their mind. No, they're not. 
they're not changing their mind. This is what they're doing. Okay. You know, the old saying goes, the rich get rich, the poor gets poor. At one time, the rich, especially a rich black men, were not protected and, you know, they were getting money taken away. But see, a person like Dr. Dre aligns himself with higher elites. Believe it or not, don't mean to go into a little bit of the conspiracy theory with the Illuminati expression, but, you know, we all know what controls the at the mecca of these industries so i'm not going to go too deep into that but i am going to say this is that dr dre didn't have to pay the two million dollar spousal support that was taken down because of who he is Dr. Dre's estranged wife wanted $6.5 million requested for legal and living expenses. I don't know why it says here on the news $6.5 million because it's, it's not. It's actually two. It's closely roughly to $2 million a month. Dr. Dre's estranged wife, Nicole Young, says she files lawsuit claiming she co-owns trademark to his name. This is a nasty, nasty divorce, man. 15 years of a marriage. Now, I don't know what's going on between these two and their marriage, but the courts go by the lifestyle of living. Now, listen. Dr. Dre, believe it or not, and I had some time to really think about this, but I don't know what goes on in, within their marriage, so I can't be the one to say anything, but I can tell you this, though, man. Well, we got to get to the marriage part and relationships, but I don't want to get this stick to the money for a little bit, but uh, do you guys feel that this woman deserved two million dollars a month just your opinions dr dre was, was reportedly scored a major win in his divorce from nicole young a judge has denied young's request for the 1.5 million to pay you see how you see how these numbers be changing all the time if you go to these news outlets they're always changing up their numbers. One says 1.2. The other one says 1.9. This one says 1.5. Okay, okay, so which one is it? For everyday needs, including securities and rejection, rejected her request to accelerate her request for $5 million to cover her lawyer's fees. Now, listen. Fences. <laughs> that their business manager pays her AMX black card bills. Now listen, man. The business that Dr. Dre owned, he was paying her expenses with a black card. Now listen, I I can't really speak for that type of lifestyle, but what woman needs to be spending that much money a month? I mean, let's just be real for crying out loud. Do you think that she would have really won this case, man? I mean, she empties out the man's bank account for $353,571.85. I mean, I, I don't know. This shit don't make no sense to me. <laughs> Seems like she's just trying to get him where it hurts. And that's why she was trying to sue him for that amount of money. I mean, we just got to keep it real. I don't know their personal life at all, but just judging on what she did with her actions of emptying out the bank, his bank account, his business bank account, it really makes you think to yourself, right, does this bitch even deserve this type of money? I mean, that's crazy, man. That is, wow. Mm -mm -mm. The things women would do, that's very vindictive, man, to cause a lot of problems within relationships is unreal those expenses equal like close to 1.2 million 
Like, you ever heard of a thing called cut down your expenses? I don't even think Dr. Dre spends money like this. I think he was spending more money while he was being with his wife. So now people are saying to themselves, well, damn, it's probably cheaper to keep her. Not in this case, because guess what? Dr. Dre has won this case, and he's free. Now, she gets nothing. There is no settling. Now, she could have settled out of court, because I'm pretty sure there was some deals that was offered on the table, but she rejected it. I guess she, she didn't want the half a million dollars. I think he would have probably gave her 500000 a month. Something like that. You know. 500000 a month or something. Maybe a little less than that. Maybe a hundred or $200,000 a month. But, you know. You could have still made some money, but now she's walking away with nothing. My honest opinion on this whole situation, this whole story, this just seems like a vindictive, angry woman who also stole money from Dr. Dre's bank account. She was taking money from his bank account. Now listen, anybody who do things like that should be reported to jail, but... That's his wife. So when you're legally married through the state and you have your wife, your wife can actually go into your account if they have access to without your consent. I'm not going to disencourage anybody not to get married, but I am going to say this. To men, this is just a message to men, women. You can take heed. Women are more than welcome to be on this podcast and this show, but this this message right here is just for the men, real quick. <coughs> when I ask y'all something, and I'm gonna say this to y'all, I should say not ask y'all, but I'm just gonna say this to to y'all right now. Word of advice. You don't need to get married to be married. You don't have to go through the system to be married. You can live with a woman and automatically you married her because she's staying in the same household as you. What Dr. Dre has went through is not a change in the system. And I repeat, is not a change in the system. Women, you can listen to Women, I would love for you guys to listen to this. What happened to Dr. Dre is not a change in the system. Basically what it is, is a man who's wealthy, who has the money to pay the highest, greatest lawyers in town, and can also pay court fees, you know, All types of stuff. My word of advice is this, fellas. If you have money, if you have money, okay, and you know you have a lot to lose, think about what you are getting yourself into before you do it. Marriages are a headache. Relationships are a headache. Going through a process of trying to protect yourself in the court is a headache. All of this is amount to a lot of stress. So now that Dr. Dre has eliminated the problem out of his life. This is going to make him, this is going to make him free. It's not about options and all, or women, and no, 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 listen, 
Dr. Dre can get any type of women he want. He wants. He can get any woman he wants. So that's ain't nobody care about that. At the end of the day, Dre's gonna be at peace, man. Cause his kids are grown. His kids are they gonna be well taken care of because they have money. No, the parents they both have money. And it's not like the wife isn't gonna get something. Obviously she's getting something out of the ordeal. But it's just uh what she's asking for. She ain't gonna get it, so they're gonna have to settle maybe outside of court and probably do something. But somehow she's getting something out of it. I'm telling you this right now. She's not gonna be left there with nothing. They're not gonna leave her there with nothing. So she is gonna get something, man. But uh it really makes you think about marriages, man. Is it even worth it? No. Marriage is for poor people. Because think about it. When you're in a marriage, you're in a relationship, you're helping each other financially. Marriage is all about money. Relationships are all about money. Just think about it. You may be in some relationships, men and women. Men and women. You may be in some relationships where you may be paying more than what your partner is paying, which is regarding to bills, expenses, going out. And if you feel that way and your partner is not contributing in any type of way, well, that's going to cause some frictions in your relationship. Now, it's a beautiful thing if you guys like one person pays one week, the other person pays the other week, and vice versa, then that's going to make things a lot easier. So, there you go. So it makes you think to yourself, man, are marriages even worth it? Men, My strongest advice, have a woman, have a girlfriend, try that out first, then get married if you feel like you can handle having a girlfriend, because the relationship is going to tell you exactly, by being five years in a relationship with a woman is, is exactly going to tell you exactly what it is you're prepared for for the next 10 to 15 years of your life maybe 20 maybe 30 most men don't even live too long when they're with these marriages don't even last like this anymore because it's just not worth it it's not worth the stress it's not worth the headaches it's not worth the aging men when it comes down to that for women it's not worth it because they want a man to be submissive to their needs and some women could not agree with what I have to say and that's fine that's okay that's okay but the truth of the matter is this you want a man to be submissive to you and it doesn't work like that it's the other way around you got a lot of uh, uh, manly looking women strong arm and shit you got some women that, you know, just look like, you know, a boss of a video game. You ever see those big bully bosses and shit? <laughs> you got to kill the boss at the end of a video game. You know, like a Super Mario Brothers and shit. But it makes you kind of think to yourself, man. Is it really worth it? Well, since we have a disconnection in what's going on in America within relationships, more relationships these days and during the coronaviruses, a lot of people are breaking up because of money. Everything revolves around money, men. Everything revolves around money when relationships and marriages. Just think about that. 
So if you can't afford to deal with the financial burden, don't even bother. Waste your time with it. Because this is what it is. We're going to an era where women are solely focusing on money now. It's not about sex anymore. It was about sex at one time. It was about booty shaking and twerking. Now it's gotten to the point where you got some women that don't even, like, you know, on the, you know, on the, on the, on the low, want to have you pay for the pool tang, want to sell the pool tang on the side and ish. You know? Can I say pussy without getting... <laughs> Without getting my thing right Okay you see a lot of uh, You know Girls out here selling pussy On the side This pandemic really showed me a lot <laughs> of, of how women are man I mean Hey women if you agree you agree If you disagree you disagree I mean that's straight But that's not going to Stop my way of thinking my experience of dealing with women in relationships but you know I'm pretty sure a lot of men can testify and agree too but in America marriage is ain't, ain't, it ain't worth it man. it's not worth it you know my opinion I say test out a relationship first <laughs> and, and and see how you work with that one before you start to get married. But, you know, 15 years, just think about it, 15 years of a relationship, that's a long time to be with somebody, 15 years, it's a really long time, but... I don't. I don't see marriages lasting those those Stone Age years like that anymore. Uh, I just don't see that. I don't see that. I think there's a big disconnection between the men and women, and everything has to do with the court system. Because just think about it, the court systems control the marriages, man. They control the the marriages. They control everything. They control the man's wages. Man, you have so much to lose, man. The system is so systematically against us, man. And it sucks. But if you're somebody who doesn't have any money, you have a better chance of surviving, man. If you don't have a lot of money, you have a better chance of surviving if you're in a marriage. But if you're trying to get out of the marriage, make sure that you try to hide any type of assets or any type of money that you could be getting on the side or something like that. Because if you go to court, you don't want that being attached to your name. If you just get into the bag, if you get what I'm saying. But anyways, guys, um, thank you all for joining the Andrew 26101 show. Ladies and gentlemen, I would love to hear your opinions on what you think of today's show. Give it a thumbs up. We don't want to give it a thumbs down, but hey, there's always going to be haters, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you all for joining the show, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.